Edward Edmund Gibson? Richard Hoot Gibson was an American rodeo champion, film actor, film director, Hoot and Gibson? producer. While acting and stunt work began as a sideline to Hoot Gibson's Gibson? focus on rodeo, he successfully transitioned from silent films to become the Hoot leading Gibson? performer in Hollywood's growing cowboy film industry. He was born August 6th of 1892 in Takaba, Nebraska. He Hoot died August 23rd, 1962 in Woodland Hills, Los Angeles, California. He was married. Hoot Gibson? Uh, to Dorothea Dunstan from 1942 to 1962. Hoot Gibson? Sally Ellis from 1930 to 1933. And Hoot Helen Gibson? Johnson from 1922 to 1930. And Helen Gibson, Gibson? from 1913 to 1920. Hoot Gibson? Now his children is Lois Charlotte Gibson. He, he was 5'9". His other name is Ed. Hoot Gibson, Edward Gibson, Gibson, Hall Gibson, Ed Hall. Hoot Gibson? Now, Hoot Gibson made over 200 films Hoot to Gibson? complete the filmography of the American actor Hoot Gibson, uh, including Gibson? his performances between 1910 and 1916. Gibson appeared in more than Hoot 200 Gibson? films. Now, Hoot Gibson star is for the category Hoot Motion Gibson? Pictures located at 1765 Vine Street, that's uh, near the corner of Yucca Avenue between Hollywood Boulevard and Yucca Avenue. He was an American rodeo champion and pioneer cowboy film actor, director, and producer. He was born Edmund Richard Gibson in Tuckamai, Nebraska. He learned to ride a horse while still very young. Well, still a very young Hoot boy. Gibson? Now his family moved to California when he was seven years old. As a teenager, he worked Hoot with Gibson? horses on a ranch, which led to competition on bucking broncos at area rodeos, given the nickname Hoot Out by co-workers. The name evolved just to Hoot. By 1910, uh, the film director, Francis Boggs, was looking for an experienced cowboy to appear in a set of film shorts. Prior to the range, Gibson and other future star Western films, Tom Mix, were hired. Gibson made a second film for Boggs in 1911. After the director was killed by a deranged employee, Gibson was hired by the director, John Conway, to appear in the 1912 Western, His Only Son. Acting for Gibson was a minor sideline, and he continued competing in rodeos to make a living. By 1912, he won the all-around championship at the famous Pendleton Roundup, Pendleton, Oregon, and the Steer Roping World Championships at the Calgary Stampede. Now, Hollywood Says, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment, let us know what you think, Hollywood Says. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment, Hollywood Says.